name is John, and this is my body. When nobody dies, Inside my body, I have organs that keep me alive. Let's take a look inside and see. Hi, I am John's brain, and I am the most complex organ in his whole body. John uses me to read, think, and even dance. The group that I belong to is known as the nervous system, and performing these actions requires me to send out electrical and chemical communications through the body. I also perform actions like heart rate, respiration, and digestion without his command. I call this involuntary action. John cannot live and function without me. Oh, that is John now, sorry. I have to go and type on the computer. See you later. Hello, I'm John's Hart. My job is to constantly supply the muscles with a steady stream of nutrients and oxygen. In order to keep blood pumping throughout his body, I am made up of cardiac muscle, which keeps me going 24-7. Collagen fibers that make up my pericardial sac help to position and stabilize me while John is moving around. John does not exercise or eat the right food. He can cause me to overwork and get tired. <laughs> when I get tired, I tend to pump slow and even stop altogether. This is called a myocardial infarction, but most people call it a heart attack. So stay healthy and your heart will thank you, just like I thank John by pumping strong every day. Hello? Hello? We, we are John Long. <laughs> I am the right long. I am the left long. Together, we keep John breathing. Our job is to take the O2 from the air and put it into the bloodstream while getting rid of carbon dioxide. If oxygen cannot be sent to the muscles, then the brain supply of energy will be cut off. John also has a common disease known as asthma. Asthma can shorten our supply of O2 or even cut it off. Thankfully, he has a device known as an inhaler that restores the airway so we can get back to work. Teamwork! Well, that's all for now. I hope we did take your breath away. Bye! Hey, 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 you can call me liver. I store and regulate all the chemicals in John's body. You can say I'm one of the second largest organs in the body. Also, when a part of me is cut off, I can regrow it. Without me, John cannot produce chemicals that help regulate his body. Also, people who drink a lot of alcohol tend to hurt and disable my ability to help out the body. So, you want to stay around for a while, make the right choices. Peace out. See you, little John. No, we're not a bean. Even though we are shaped like one, we are one of John's organs, and yes, there are two of us. We are small, but we remove poisonous substances from the blood, most of which is nitrogen waste. We also help with the production of ADH because of the decreased amount of this hormone we tend to have the body pee a little more than normal. If one of us was damaged, it's okay. John only requires one of us to be working. Most of the time, people will donate one of us to help spread our love. Well, well that's, that's all we have. Love you lots. It's there. Yeah, that's me, the one you hear growling every now and then. I'm John's stomach. And don't worry, I'm not shy. When I get hungry, Trust me, I'll let you know. My main job in John's body is to hold the food and start to break it down. I contain a gastric acid that is powerful and this stuff will eat anything away. <laughs> and oh yeah, I can also stretch and hold all that food you eat. Not to mention, I also process that food by muscular contraction. Man, what time is it? I'm hungry. Wiggly, windy, long and short, we are John's large and small intestine. Our main job is to digest and absorb the food that John eats. We are the ones who pick what nutrients out of the food we should take and use as energy in the body. The breakdown of food starts with me, the small intestine. I quickly take out the required nutrients for the body. Then I send the rest to my brother. Yep, that's me, the large intestine. Of course, unlike my sister, I take my time and make sure all the nutrients and vitamins are found, and then I send the waste to be excreted out of the body. Together we make up part of the digestive tract. See you around! Yep, 
I'm John Flatter, and you guessed it. I am a pouch that holds the urine. I tell John it's time to pee when I reach about 200 or 300 milliliters. Then, at about 500 milliliters full, I let go. Whee! Yuppers! Whether John is ready or not, out comes the excess water and waste from John's body after digestion. So, if I were you, I would listen to your bladder when they say it's time to go. Yes, Mitch.